Oh, the outside is so red. Okay, and we're back here. But yeah, no, I totally get, like, it just it's, shit happens, you can't get around to stuff. Like, god, I really want to get back to Baldur's Gate, but just so many other things. So hopefully I can at least finish Tears, and then I can get around to Baldur's Gate, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I've already enjoyed what I've played of it so far, which, you know, isn't much, but it was very good so far. Ooh, ow! Oh, that just seems mean. God, it's the Simone Wraith. These are the these are the uh, skeletons that have a whip. It's like, oh, Simone was the last Belmont that defeated us. Well, here here we are making a mockery of him. He also crumples exactly like Simone. <laughs> supposed to be like the leg, the kind of like boot leggings that like Simone has, question mark? Mm. Like classic Simone design. know how it was with 80s with the 80s and their like barbarian like designs for characters you know what i mean <laughs> it's like the conan the barbarian era where everybody was like Yeah, they kind of do. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's like they're making a mockery of Chist's grandfather. <laughs> Holder. Nice little candle holders for our room. Oh, and a smiling statue. Let's see. Statue of a goddess. Goddesses are so beautiful, aren't they? Um, candle holder. A silver candlestick for elegant evenings with friends. <laughs> Alright, four more to go. Oh, I am low on health. jump, it's possible to smash through some ceilings. I need to use these. Okay. So that's what I'm going to need to use on those uh, gold block areas. Oh god, the J JP bone pillar? J jump bone pillar, I assume? That they couldn't fit the whole thing in? <laughs> attention to my health. Oh no! When was the last time I saved? It might have been quite a bit back. Oh. It's not the worst, but that still sucks. Man, there just wasn't enough, like... Where was the save room? There. Anyway. Sorry about that. Do a little backtracking. Should have been paying attention to my health. <laughs> Cause. 
Because uh, those monsters hurt in that area, actually. This guy hurts. Thank you. 
Let's try to be a little bit more careful. this way first because uh, the crush beats were this way, right? Also candle holder. Gotta re recover our furniture. Five more levels away from being able to see that one shop. How close am I to a save here? You know what? I'll take it.
Oh, it dropped a $400 bag. And then it fell through the floor. <laughs> Dang. Oh, there is one. Yes, I would like all the money, thank you. Turkey. I'm killing somebody up there. Chicken leg. Or a turkey leg, perhaps. Yep. Boss time. Hello, Cyclops? Ow! Makes sense, that really hurts. Oh 
got him. of explored areas in Castle B. I think we've basically covered everywhere now, except for, obviously, the places that are still locked away, but, um, we can break through the gold blocks now. Nice. Interesting animation. Ancient urn. Let's see. The most valuable objects are those whose value is difficult to guess. <laughs> Rib. Well, we've obtained the Rib of Blood. So we really do, I believe, only have one more... Yeah. One of Dracula's bodily remains has the power to negate poison, so we're missing one more relic. What are we doing in terms of um, uh, completion? We're 94% here, which is pretty good. Oh. Uh, 96% in Castle A. Why is it 96% in Castle A? Oh, because there's a section of Castle B we haven't... I forgot to check out? Okay, hang on. Let me go do that.
man, demons really only do like one damage to me per hit now. <laughs> Rip to them, I'm <laughs> different, I guess. <laughs> What would we do without curtains? Made of the finest silks and milky to the touch. We are missing two more. warp room in the other castle, which is interesting. Yeah, fancy! I mean, we're in Dracula's castle, we gotta be fancy! There we go. That's where I want to be. Whoa! There we go. Kaiser mail. Um, Kaiser Mail. Armor set to have been worn by emperors. Oh wow, it ups every stat. <laughs> oh 
Oh, yes. What would we do without our wine glasses? Like, again, Dracula's castle, we have to have our wine glasses. A beautiful wine glass for elegant evenings with friends. Yeah, we're only missing one more, one more uh, furniture collectible. Um, we are 97.7% and I am fairly certain I know where the rest of the, that percentage is. It is right in the lower middle there, where we will, where we will get to eventually, but... Yeah, because everywhere else we basically filled in. somewhere has opened. Oops, okay. Put it a brick. And candlestick, there we go. So that is our last furniture collectible. We have collected all of the furniture. We just need to go place it now. Oh, it's opened up the, uh, the center. That is, in fact, the remaining percentage. That is where we'll have our final battle, essentially. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this on stream last time, but essentially there are three endings to this game. There is the bad ending, there is the worst ending, and there is the good ending. Um, so I will go probably in the order of bad, worst, and then good. Uh, let's see. What's the closest to the furniture area? There's a couple... There's like one or two spots... What are two doors they have in with open? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, first off, let's go get this other area. We are still. I, I swore there were five relics, but I might be wrong, there might be six. So we might still need to grab the sixth relic. So we are in fact nearing the end of the game. Uh, barring, you know, getting all of the encyclopedia. Because clearly I missed one guy. That might be the one I'm thinking of, the, uh, the rare enemy. I have to look up where it shows up. We can attempt to find it. As long as it's not too far off the beaten path. The nice thing about the Castlevania collection is I can go into here and I could literally just look up the encyclopedia. It'll tell me everything. It's obviously spoilers, but if I'm missing something, I could just go straight to look at this encyclopedia and check, like, what I'm missing. So, that's helpful, at least.
And last stream, I had, in fact, like, the icons you saw, like, on the right-hand side of the screen was showing, like, what important items were in the area. I turned that off because I don't really need it, but that's also a, like, little quality of upgrade, quality of life upgrade thing, I guess. It's a user spirit. MP consumption rate is reduced. Oh, it's pretty good too. Oh man, it's so bright. The stained glass. Okay, it might just be worth it to, uh, go down this way to get that one room I'm missing, and then from there, I can figure out what's going on with the other room. Um, because, dang it, you can't really see my mouse. Um, you see where we are? Like, a little bit to the right and down of that, you see, like, an empty square above, like, a, like, a save room. That room, I believe, is blocked off by one of those, like, rainbow doors. And it's the same in Castle B. And it's the same for this corridor I'm- this, uh... This straight down path I'm about to get to. I don't recall what opens those doors. Yeah, this- this door. Ah! Okay, so where's the lore key? Well then, okay. I mean, that is helpful, at least. It allows me to warp here directly to this shop, too. <laughs> Uh, so that means I can open the other door. So I should go do that as well. There's a couple- there's another door. <sighs> I swear there's another rainbow door. Um... Oh shit, there's that one spot I didn't fill in, and then... You can barely see it, but there's like two small green squares, which is the areas I did not explore on the yeah, on the A side. Okay. Yeah, honestly, this is the this way. Well, we want to visit... 
want to visit the furniture room, so honestly I'll just walk her way over there. Walk her ass over there, ju Juiced. Probably unequip the crush boots now. Alright, are we ready? Putting some furniture. And there we go! We have our fully furnished room. We've got our lovely silk curtains, we've got some nice little candle holders on the table now. We've got a really weird ass jar. We've got a couple of nice jars here. A rocking chair. We've got the goddess statue here, and the bed. So yeah, this is the fully furnished room. We have done it. And um, obviously there's no like fanfare in-game about finishing this room. Uh, you can see in the collectibles that we have gotten everything. Yes, that was a Tanuki statue and a Maneki Neko. <laughs> it's very silly. <laughs> yeah, our lovely, lovely, fully furnished room. Let Juiced uh, give you a little tour. <laughs> but yeah, this now that we've fully furnished this room, um, there will be a small change to the best ending.
Alright. I'm able to open this door. Is this a warp? Ah, uh, it's also a warp. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't get the other one over there. Um, that's not a big deal. Well, we can just warp around a bit. There we go. And then... Okay, we filled that section in for Castle B, so we're now at 98% for Castle B. Just glancing over to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Anything obvious, that is. Okay, yeah. Doesn't look like I've missed anything obvious. There's that one tiny spot that I missed in Castle A that I'll go grab really quick. Um, actually, while we're here, let me look up that weird rare enemy. Here we go. Uh, um, Castle top floor A. Shrine of the Apostates B. Entrance B. It, uh, that doesn't exactly say what room? Just actually, here we go. Uh, the Castlevania Wiki. So I think he shows up in this area, the clock tower. I forget where in the clock tower, though. Like, I I have this very vague memory of it showing up in the clock tower. Hang on, I'm going to look at a video really quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, um, if we're lucky enough, 
this enemy might show up. It is it is luck stat dependent on whether this guy shows up. That was him. <laughs> that was the rare ghost. Literally, its name is the rare ghost. First try, let's go? <laughs> Just to show how rare that was, like, I can go back and forth in here and he's not showing up for... Oh, oh. wow, my... No, 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 no. Oh man. Man, he's books it. <laughs> Little guy books it. Actually, my luck stat must be pretty high then. Yeah, no, it's not showing up again. Wow, I got really lucky. He also dropped something, which is even luckier. Sorry, it's a little bit flashy. <laughs> As I go back and forth between this room. <laughs> no, it's not showing up again. Wild. Anyway, we saw him. He was there, so that was the most important thing. This little guy. Look at him. <laughs> he's like a he's like a Christmas elf. <laughs> In terms of monsters, I think... Okay, uh, we are only missing a few at the end here, so uh, we are actually pretty good. The end obviously being our final bosses, so <laughs> we kind of we filled out the enemy list. Aside from drops, I'm not going to subject people to that. <laughs> I'll do that on my own time. But um, we've done that, and we've gotten all the furniture and we placed it in the room. So uh, let's just uh, let's just go get our ending then, huh? Our endings multiple. I will fill in this, um, one spot I missed.
Oh, I'm an idiot. I went the wrong way. Actually, can I even go that way? I can. I'm just an idiot. Okay, hang on. Don't mind me. Actually, is this was this a regular warp room? Let me check. Or I think this is one that, that warps between castles, so it's not the one I want. Yeah, this is not the right one. And the crouching on this doesn't work. This would take us to... Lower Castle B? Yeah. Anyway, not where I want. wanted to go through here. Mm-hmm. 